Analysis Why Nigerians Will Prefer Erufai Over Zilum As Vice Presidential Candidate In Case They Contest Welcome to the news And please subscribe to our channel Let me say this again If you like see me as someone Who is a whatever I don't care If you are a youth in this country And your senses are intact You are sane you have never been to a psychiatric facility for once for treatment. And you carry yourself, you get your PVC, and you vote for these people that what I call, these people that are overdue to leave power. Let me tell you, posterity will not be kind to you. It's is it though. If you wake up that very election morning, and you go and vote for somebody, eh, because eh, he's looking fine now. Even a bad product with a very good marketing strategy still sells well. Let me say it. It sells better than a good product with a poor marketing strategy. Nigerians, they have already told us that we are what we call Olodo. That we know the candidate that is good for us. But because of reasons of sometimes stomach and pocket infrastructure... You see us going to pick leaders that we know that we hurt us. We know that these people have already showed trust that they are going to be cruel and a tyrant. And yet, you are going to vote for them. If you are a youth in this country and you vote for such people, let me tell you, in case you don't know what you are doing, you are a youth, you are not married now. These people will come in and they are going to stay two tenors because it is written in the Nigerian constitution that leaders should stay two tenors, governorship and... and uh, presidential candidates are like, except the people do not want them. Now they come in and let's say you are not married. It is going to affect your life. It will affect your children's life. Then if you're a youth already and you are married, there is every, there is every possibility that your children will give birth to, to grandchildren for you. You are somebody who you are a human being and you are, look, sincerely, you're not even supposed to these people, they do not for any reason deserve a vote. What I don't care. I don't care who they are. I don't care if they start sharing one, one millionaire a day to election. Use your head. Don't allow, don't even go out to vote for anyone on an empty stomach so that you go there and just start sharing malt and juice and you'll not fall for it. No. If you don't have food to eat, drink water. This one is more about our existence. It is not about our stomach alone. The money that they are going to share and the food they are going to share, highest a day, no, even if it is 50000 a week at most, and it is gone. Because say I've seen a free money, you know, will last you. You know, go see the usefulness. So, I am saying this now, posterity will not be kind to us if we do this to ourselves and the future generation. The earlier we start bringing in people who are going to build Nigeria back up, the better. Nigeria has gone point of the place where you're going to say, eh, let us choose one of the lesser egos. It has Nigeria cost to only have lesser egos? What of the two best people? What about the two best? That is why me, I'm from, I'm for that direct primary zone. Direct primaries, sincerely. Why? It will give the candidates opportunity to pick competent people at the party level. We can pick competently people at the party level. Then, then during the main election, we'll now pick the most competent of them all. It is until we have this kind of mindset. That is when we'll start even making headway in any sector at all in this country. Let's listen to the news in detail. The reason why you need Aerofi over Zulum is that when the chips are down, you could count on Aerofi brazen the storm unrelentlessly. Before you open your eyes. In the odious, murky craft of a Nigerian state in which he is light yet ahead of Zulu. Secondly, Zulu is excellent as a political neophyte because he's the chief executive of a state. He needs more time. On the national front and under a strong presidential candidate, Zulu would be a meek, frustrated, and miserable VP. You need a smart war machine like Aerofi, rugged, to withstand the fury and invasion of any smart president. Therefore, Nigeria should go for Aerofi as a vice presidential candidate if he contests. Even the future president needs Aerofi against adversaries because it won't be a bed of roses. Although Zulum has been in governance for a while and he must have 
have a lot on how to weather the storm. Is daring the BH Menand, neutralizing varied political interests and conflict entrepreneurs' meekness? Is his excellent approach of using vigilantes to complement Nigerian armed forces' effort at fighting the insurgent naivety? How do we wonder how Bruno people are now cooperative on the war, community intelligence, and support? Our refined leadership capacity has outbalanced the whole Kaduna in the sense that any policy he brought, the average citizen feels it negatively. Nigeria will suit his style of leadership when problems are in their highest order. I've said my own. These two people, none of the above. And certainly, you will not even be kind to yourself. Do you know what it, what it, what it means to when you are sick and you are refusing to take your drug? It is going to be that way or your medications rather not drugs. Your medication. You are sick. You need medication, you need to go to the hospital, and you're not taking yourself to the hospital. Neither are you taking yourself to the lab to get um, tested and then prescribe them medications. If you don't do this, it is the same thing you do when you pick any of these two people. Erufayo, Zulumo, both of them, not my type of persons at all. We have seen their type of leadership. Yes, they have not... Ask Kaduna people. Just go. Ask Kaduna people. If you get to Kaduna, you don't even need to even go inside. From when you see welcome to Kaduna, this is Kaduna, you start making your research. You will find out how the masses are gnashing their teeth under Rafael's leadership. Is that, is that what you want? Is that what you want, Nigeria? Yes, Zulu may be kind-hearted, yes, but sincerely... We do not need, look, it is going to be a course if Nigeria gets somebody who is under, who is less than 40 as a president. Is, are we caused to always get people who are 50, 60, 70, 80, 90? Sincerely, we need somebody who is young, somebody who is ready to work, somebody whose brain is working perfectly fine. Because, and the person who is going to be thick-skinned, thick-skinned because... I'm saying that this administration and other administration before, they have put Nigeria in a place that is going to... Nigeria cannot see revival, as in cannot see growth without revival. So what we need is somebody who will be the revival person. The person will do a lot of work. And the person, the citizens, we are, we are me that I'm talking, will be among those that be telling this person you're not doing any work. Because he will need to repair and repair and repair before you start building new ones. The system is so decayed. When it comes to the economical sector. When it comes to health sector. It's, decay has eaten so deep. So he has to revive first. Before he now starts saying. Let me now take it to another level. That is just the truth. I have said my own. A word is enough for the wise. On this note, we have come to the end of it. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. And until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of the day.